All right, for your outdoor edge tip of the week, this is one of the coyotes I shot this morning, and I'm gonna replace on this Razor Pro a brand new sharp blade. And a lot of people ask me, they have a little trouble when they get to the face. So I've peeled them down, and I pull them down a little bit so I can see the back of the earbuds. So I'm gonna walk through again how to do the coyote's face here. Now it's recommended you wear gloves. A lot of times I wear gloves, but we've got a lot to do today, so I didn't bother with gloves. So once I peel them down to this point, I grab the back of the earbud so I can feel that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut right through the back of the ear, just like that. So now I've got that ear out. So now what I'm gonna do is do the other side the same way. I grab the back of that ear and I cut right through the cartilage right there. You see where I'm going through the cartilage? And then I come right back. So now I've got my ears down. So now I'm gonna pull just a little bit. And now I'm down to where the eyes are. And if this is, if it's the first time you've done it, you can put your hand back into the hide and feel where the eyes are. But basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work right along the base of the head here. And again, a sharp knife makes that really easy. But I'm gonna come right to the back of the eye socket here, and you can see where I'm gonna cut, right along the back of the eye. Once I cut through there, I put my finger in the eye. So there's that eye done. I've got both the inner and the eye outer eyelid on that coyote on that side. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. And again, I'm doing it a little fast here, but take your time. There's no reason to go in a hurry. This is where if you're gonna mess up, this is where you're gonna mess up. Again, I'm going right along the edge. You can see there the eyes, I'm starting to open it up there. And then I can put my finger right in there and it'll help guide me right along the very back. I went through the edge of the eye there. So there's both the eyes clear. Now at the back of the jaw, I'm gonna cut through right here and I'm gonna open up the jaw. You can see that's the back of the jaw line. And again, there's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my finger right in there and I can kind of pull and then use my outdoor edge knife to work right along the jawline of this coyote. And again there, a sharp knife is really, really important. And I'm doing the same thing here. You see I'm making a little incision there so I can put my finger in there. And then I'm gonna pull while working it along the very edge of the jawline with my knife. So basically you can just grab that and keep going right around and you can follow the edge of that jawline, stand right along the skull as I'm going through here. And then as I get all the way to the end, I'll show you where you want to cut off to take it off. See right there at the jawline? I'm just running right along the edge there. And I'm just really lightly, I'm not pressing hard with this knife, I'm more just pulling it and just slowly working it down. So you can see I'm right at the edge of the nose here. And what I'm gonna do is I usually take that and work it out just a little bit. And at the end, I'm just gonna cut right through the cartilage, angling in, and then there's the nose. Now on the very back jaw, now on fur, when you're selling it to a fur buyer, a lot of times they don't even care if you have that bottom jaw on or not. But just from the interest of showing you how to do it, you can see I'm just gonna pull it right down. And again, I'm working right along the edge of the jaw line there. Then you've got to just work around that canine, the big one. And then you can come in from this side, the front of the lip, make yourself a little incision here to help you out. And then you'll have it. So this little guy should pull off right there. There we go. So I'm around the, around the canine. And again, you can see I'm just taking my time. Let me spin him so you can see where we're at. I'm taking my time and I'm staying right off, right off the edge of the gum line. So there's the coyote and there is the beautiful pelt. And I'm gonna turn that around because of course we're gonna have to clean it and I'm gonna have to sew that pelt up. But we've got some more work to do today. So if I don't have time to do it now, after I wash that pelt, what I'll do is just put it in the freezer and work it on a day when I've got time. But you can see how beautiful that finished belt is. That's your Outdoor Edge Tip of the Week, how to finish up the face on a coyote.